Mark Donica here for Popcorn Talk with Matt Holm, the director of Rooster Teeth's first feature film, Laser Team. Uh, thank you for joining me today, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, now, I know Rooster Teeth has, has always been about like a, a film atmosphere. You guys came from, from a film upbringing. How long has Laser Team actually been in production? Uh, since the Stone Ages. Oh, that's good. It's actually taken from a Sumerian text mm -hmm. that we translated. Uh, it was hieroglyphs. So it was like a deleted and chapter of the Bible sort it, of thing? It is, yeah. yeah. It came after Job. That's good. Um, no, we, uh, you know, Bernie and I have been working together a long time. And it's actually sometimes it's hard to remember when ideas spring up. But I think we first talked about doing Laser Team about five years ago, I want to say, maybe six, yeah. um, where we were just having a brainstorming session and come up with an, a, a bunch of ideas spawned out of that. Some things that we've, um, other things that we've shot as well and other projects that we're working on coming soon. And Laser Team was one of those ideas. It always seemed like, well, this would be an amazing project to do, but this is going to be really expensive and super difficult. How can we actually accomplish this and keep doing everything else that we're doing at the same time? And it was really the crowdfunding, you know, the Indiegogo campaign that enabled us to make it a reality. So with speaking of the Indiegogo campaign, what was the first thing that you wanted to use like the, the stretch funds for? What was the first thing we wanted to use the stretch funds for? Oh gosh, um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's listed on the actual, you know, thing now. But I mean, going into it, you know, our mindset was we want to make this as big a movie as it can be. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to do a lot of, you know, stunts and you know, on set special effects, and not just rely on on visual effects. Yeah, keep it practical. Yeah, keep yeah. it practical, and and have a lot of you know, like big ass explosions and just crazy stuff going on. Uh, Cause when you're making a movie, you wanna see all the cool stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? And I think it also shows in the end product. And that thanks to Indiegogo campaign, we were able to do that and a whole lot more. It, and it's wonderful to see the shape that this project has taken uh, ever since the first announcement. Uh, what, is, is there any other ideas that you've been kicking around for, for the film division of, of Rooster Teeth? Oh yeah, a ton. Um, you know, I think the most important one is my uh, biography. You know, we're going to turn my memoirs Why would into you say that? I'm going to be spending movie. the rest of this interview crying. You know, I haven't figured out who should play the part yet because there aren't any actors in Hollywood that are as good looking as I am. With piercing blue eyes. Right. Yeah. So, I, you know, I might just have to do it myself, you know. That would work. Got or a, just a my cross full bear, green screen of, or full green green suit of I, somebody. Possibly, yeah, I could be just an animated character. That, that could work. Maybe Daffy Duck. Like a Roger Rabbit style. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Um, <laughs> what uh, do you think you'd go back to Indiegogo for 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 that, or do you think uh, we wouldn't rule it out? You yeah. know, I mean, the thing about Indiegogo that I think it was so great is it wasn't just the money. I mean, the money obviously is what financed the film, made made it happen, mm -hmm. right? But it was also just a sense of community and the, you know, the feeling that we had that everybody was behind us and, and supportive, like emotionally supportive of this project. And you saw that in so many different ways. I mean, like, you know, the, the group we call the infamous 535 yeah. was a great example of that, where we, we tried to sell one walk-on pass for, for, right. for, for the movie, for Laser Team, and the system broke and we ended up selling 535 of them because <laughs> there was such a mad rush to get mm -hmm. this this one uh, perk. Uh, but that was amazing, you know, because then we had so many people come out for the movie and, the, and so many members of the community got to be, actually be in the movie. We found places for them, you know, in, uh, you know, uh, like football scenes. scenes, yeah, crowd scenes and just like a lot of different places. And, and uh, now everybody who, you know, not only contributed their money, they contributed their time, they contributed, you know, their actual appearance yeah. in the movie. So it was it was a great kind of just, you know, complete community effort, I feel like. And the the community is such a huge part of, of Rooster Teeth in general. Yeah. And and this movie's definitely a, a hard yes for anybody. Um, what how would you pitch this movie to like a like a general movie audience? Oh, it's about four small town losers who find an amazing suit of power from outer space. Mm -hmm. They put it on, it locks to them, and then they discover they have to save the planet from an alien invasion. And it's got a lot of dick jokes. <laughs> that should be on the poster. Yeah, that, Dark that was the original slogan. And a lot of dick jokes. And a lot of dick jokes. Yeah, dig it. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's just a really fun sci-fi comedy mm -hmm. action movie. 
um, we wanted to do something that kind of harkened back to the the late 70s, early 80s uh, sci-fi movies and also comedies of that era. You know, like we're big fans of all the sci-fi from then, you know, from Star Wars to Star Trek to, you know, the, the every aliens. I mean, all of the stuff that stuff that came out in that era is like just, you know, it's really amazing sci-fi. But there was also a lot of amazing comedy mm -hmm. in that era, too. If you look at like Ivan Reitman and Michael Ritchie and Harold Dramus and, you know, all these really, John Landis, all these really uh, great comedy directors and films that really, I think, shaped the way we look at that at Hollywood style comedy today um, uh, were an inspiration for us on both sides. And we thought, oh, it'd be really cool to do something that kind of married both of those, those aesthetics. So it's not, the, the film's not a, a parody of sci-fi movies. It's sci just movies. a comedy. It's a comedy. I mean, the same way that Ghostbusters is, you know, is a comedy movie. It's not a parody of a horror movie, no, right? It's just a comedy movie. It's a comedy yeah. movie with ghosts. And this is a a straight up sci-fi action comedy. Okay, so from my last question, uh, a fun question from the community. Uh, so uh, Alan Richardson plays Adam in the yeah. film, the assigned hero to yeah. wield all pieces of the suit. Yeah. What member of the Rooster Teeth staff would you give that responsibility to? Well, the part was actually written for me. Is it, okay. So yeah, and Alan so and I were just talking. Fill the whole suit. And he was like, I don't know. He was like, should I direct this? Should you direct it? I was like, man, I, maybe I should star in it. You know, we look so much alike. And, yeah. you know, we had the same physique and everything. So it was a tough call. But uh, ultimately, I think that I should reshoot it with me in it. No, ultimately, I think we went the right way. <laughs> no, um, Alan was, man, Alan was just awesome. Uh, if there was somebody who would be the champion of Rooster Teeth, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that's answerable. I mean, I think that the, the story of the movie is really, it's, you know, not to get too philosophical, or whatever, but there's a lot of subtext there about, you know, Rooster Teeth and our experiences because it's like four guys who really shouldn't have a chance, you know, to do this stuff and to be put in the position they are, that they're, that they're in. And, you know, Rooster Teeth's kind of the same way. I mean, you're like, you know, we're, you know, four guys making videos and we have no right to have seen all the amazing success and the community support that we've had over the years. Um, you know, it should have been that one, you know, anointed, you know, hero, or it should have been, you know, in Rooster Teeth's case, you know, traditional media or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I felt like we've been very lucky and very, um, you know, uh, blessed by the support of the community to kind of be able to break that mold at Rooster Teeth. And that's kind of like the stories we like to tell. We're breaking that mold with, with Laser Team as well. Can't wait to see it. Comes out 2015? It's coming out this winter. This winter. Okay. Yes. Good way to put it. Yes. All right. Thank you, Matt. Well, thank you. Very much. Appreciate it. And I've been Mark Donica. Make sure to subscribe to Popcorn Talk. We talk movies.